everyone welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for tuning in um, today's video is going to be the new Marc Jacobs collection I actually have this on my eyes today I have the new eyeshadow palette that he came out with and of course I got the bronzer so we are going to do a review and swatches for you guys um, before we get started make sure that you guys are subscribed I post new videos every Monday and Friday. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I will have those linked down below. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so starting off with the new eyeshadow palette. This is the box right here. I love the Marc Jacobs packaging. I just think it is so sleek and just elegant. I just love it so much. It's got the white and you can see the rose gold. Um, this is the Iconic palette, seven eyeshadows, uh, multi finishes. So the name of this palette is Fantasine. Um, and then of course, keeping up with the box is the palette itself. Most of um, his other eyeshadow palettes are black, but this one of course being in the collection is white and I really enjoy it. It's definitely a white that you can keep clean. Um, you can definitely wipe this off if it was to get dirty, not a big deal because of the type of material that it is. Um, of course, you do have his letters in the rose gold um, along with the tab. And on the back, oops, sorry, <laughs> on the back, you do have the names of the eyeshadows. So you open it up. A mirror does come with this. Now mine's gonna be a little bit dirty since I have been playing in it, but you do get a mirror with that. And then you also get the little Marc Jacobs tab on there. And then these are your shadows. Ah, oh, they are so pretty. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump straight into swatches. And then we will move on to my thoughts on the eyeshadow palette. All right, so here are your swatches right here. Um, the colors are so beautiful. You will notice there was some fallout and chunkiness to it. I definitely had to blow it away. Um, these two colors right here are definitely very light. They were, I had to build them up in order to show up on my eyes. So I would not exactly say that this palette was geared towards darker skin tones. I think you're really gonna have to build that up if you want to try to use it. Um, so the finishes that you get in this palette are velvet, satin, silk, and lame. As far as kick up goes, there is definite kick up in this pan. Um, a little bit more so than my other eyeshadow palettes um, that I have from him, but nothing terrible crazy. I mean, it was, it was minimal. I'm not sitting there, I'm not digging my brush into the pan. I mean, I'm lightly tapping it and there was, there's a little bit of fallout. So let me see if I can show you. Oh, this is the one that has the most fallout. So, see, can you see it? That's as much as I get, right there. All I gotta do is just blow it away. Just blow it away and you'll be fine. I have used every color in here except for this one right here. I have not got around to that one. Um, I usually start with this as a base. I have both used this and this in my crease for two different looks. Um, I have used these two for eye shades and of course this to help darken up my crease and my lower lash line. That's what I have. I have this one, this one, and these two on my eyes today. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you in close. Um, try not to scare you guys <laughs> all right so on my eyes I do have flesh covets um, I have four more and Micha on my eyes today I used flesh as a base um, and my transition color I used covets for my crease I used four more as my outer V and my lower lash line and Micha for my lid color I really do like how this look turned out. I think it is a perfect date night look. Um, and yeah, so that's it. Um, I will say that this one right here, which is she said was extremely hard to work with for me yesterday. Um, I did have to wet the brush several times in order to get it to kind of layer on. I also tried my finger 
and it just did not seem to want to stay on my eyes. I have yet to use it with like a glitter glue or some concealer. Maybe that would be a little bit better, but as far as a brush and my finger, I did not like how hard it was to apply. I think the other shades are beautiful. I think they're really easy to blend. <clears throat> I usually am pretty scared of darker colors um, in my crease area or my outer V just because I am not that great at blending. I do try, um, but this color right here, which is for more, was perfect. It was so easy to apply. It was easy to layer up. It was easy to blend, and I highly enjoy this color. So this makes it more comfortable for me as a palette to use. This right here, I did start off with my crease as my crease shade in my eye look today. And I really did have to put that on and layer it up in order for it to show up on my skin tone. Um, but with that being said, once I applied it to, to the darkness that I needed it to be, I loved it so much. I really do enjoy this eye look that I came up with. Um, I think the colors are absolutely stunning and I'm still happy, very, very, very happy that I made this purchase. This is a limited edition palette. Um, it is sold out right now, but it will be coming back in stock. I'm not really sure when, um, but as soon as I find out, I will definitely notify you guys either on Instagram um, or I will post down below in the video. I love this palette so much. I think it's easy to blend. It was easy to work with for me except for that one shade. Um, but like I said, there are other options that I can do to try and figure out how to make that one shade work. So. I still think it's an excellent palette. Uh, this eyeshadow palette you can find, of course, on markjacobsbeauty.com um, or you can find at Sephora. I was lucky enough to score this during the sale because they did release it for VIB Rouge uh, during the sale. So I was able to get the 15% off, which is always a plus because it is $49. Now, with that being said, I also got the Marc Jacobs bronzer. I love this bronzer so freaking much. It is my favorite bronzer of anything that I have in my collection. The color is just so perfect. This is called Tantastic and keeping up with the rest of the collection, it is white and rose gold packaging. Um, this shade, it's perfect. It really is just perfect. Look at that, that is perfection. And the pan is so big. I know you're like, well, oh my gosh, a $49 bronzer, are you crazy? You do get a serious amount of product. You get 25 grams in this product. Um, oh, it feels so good. Let me see if I can, I don't know if you can see it, but I applied it right here. Um, it is not too orange, it is not too dark. It is just perfect um, for my lighter skin tones. I think that it just, I cannot say enough good things about this bronzer and the smell, <sighs> smells of coconut, <laughs> if you like coconuts, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to say other than that. This is my favorite bronzer. Um, now, if I'm not mistaken, um, the packaging, the Rolls Gold packaging is limited edition, yes. I have also heard that the Tantastic and the regular original packaging with the silver is going to be permanent. They did decide to make it permanent. He finally heard all of our cries from when it sold out last time. Um, so I really, really appreciate that. I really hope that's true. If it is, I will definitely leave a little info for you guys on the bottom to let you know whether that is true or not. Um, but like I said, just the gold and the white is limited edition. Uh, and as of right now, that bronzer is out of stock, but like I said, it is going to be back in stock. I do not know when. Make sure you guys are following me on my Instagram, on my Twitter. I will definitely notify you and put a post out as soon as I know that it is back in stock. That way you guys can definitely grab yours. All right, guys, so that is it for this review. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you go, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.